Welcome back to the next episode of SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today's episode will be the Angry Suns level, which is the level everyone hated as a kid. Let's jump right in because I have a way to make this level forever easy for you. First, you start like most levels by holding forward and B, and just like World 2 Level 2, you'll want to jump before you run into the hill so you don't slow down. Running down hills is always faster in this game, so once you jump up at the start, you can test yourself by trying to run as much as you can on the next small downward slope. Make it over the gap with a small or medium jump, and try again on the next little slope. But be very careful, the red flying turtle is on his way down, so try not to jump too high or you'll get hit. After the red turtle, there will be a straight runway long enough for you to build your p-speed. Once you have acquired your p-speed, you will do a medium jump over the sand pit and try and run down the hill a little bit, saving those frames. But again, be careful not to run into the green turtle. Do a small jump over him. You'll pass two large plants in the background and then one smaller one. As soon as you enter the small one, do a medium jump into the tornado. This will line you up perfectly to go past the tornado and continue. So the reason most kids had trouble with the sun is because it's random when he decides to dive bomb you. And on top of that, his horizontal movement after he dives is based on your movement. So if he dives at you and you slow down and jump back out of the way, he will actually follow you due to the screen moving. He always goes back to the top of the screen, but he still follows you. Remember, Mario is fixated on the center of the screen. So moving out of the way to the left is actually worse because you'll be pushing the sun into you. Excuse my sloppy patterns, but after you pass the tornado, here are two paths you can take to avoid the sun. Start at one line and follow. You'll see the pattern you can take. Since the sun is RNG, you might need to alter your path halfway through, but knowing this will help out so much more. Just remember, if you keep moving forward, it's much harder for the sun to hit you, and the jump for each paths are medium jumps. Depending on which path you take, you'll want to do either a small or medium jump up onto the flat path before the big sand pit. Medium jump over the sand pit and be as daring as you can by running down the hill as much as you can. The sun might be there to stop you, and he might not be. RNG, right? Since you know the secret, he won't be a problem anymore. After that is just straight running to the end. Stupid angry sun level is easy peasy now. No need to worry anymore. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching episode 11. I hope you learned a lot. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 12 comes out. We will be doing a combo wombo double 2-4 and 2-5. Thanks all. See ya.